Hi everyone and welcome back again. Uh, we are here again with a bunch of vocabulary, which a bouquet of vocabulary, and I hope we will uh, study them successfully and we will acquire them, we will internalize them, and we will get acquainted with them. Get familiarized with them, yes, okay, and we will uh, manage to be able to use them in our everyday speech or everyday language and in our sentences, yes, because sile, for example, is a really good verb, yes, reconcile a problem, reconcile a dispute, means settle, yes, settle a this dispute, yes, find or harmonize, yes, harmonize the two sides of a problem. Exemplar is also another word, uh, exemplar, example, uh, or role model, yeah, role model, model, yes, saying is again a beautiful adjective, uh, Sinan Bey is a sane person, for example is a reasonable, rational person, sane person. The opposite is insane. Unique uh, sui generis, and that much, no more ignoring. Are you sure about it? Can you confirm it? Are you sure about it? Are you certain about it? Yeah. Don't you have any doubt about it? These are really practical expressions or sentences, questions. Are you sure about it? Uh, yes. Anyway, do you confirm it? Yes, do you confirm it? Etc. Etc. As an, uh, as an uh, eyewitness, for example. Do you have some evidence yeah, to be sure about it? Do you have uh, any evidence or enough evidence to be sure about it, okay? Yes, okay, ChatGPT, can you write an eight-word short story inspired, inspired by this vocabulary acquiring presentation text? Yes, this is the first part, and we will read the second chapter at the end of the video. Okay, ChatGPT. In a small town, Nancy's ability to reconcile disputes became legendary. She was the exemplar of mediation, teaching others the art of resolution, the art of settlement, the art of reconciliation, the art of peacemaking. Arif's father, a model for integrity, imparted gave and endowed life lessons through actions. A grandfather, a role model of responsibility, dignity, and diplomacy, left an in, indelible, inerasable mark. Okay. Please generate a motto with respect to this paragraph. This is ChatGPT's motto. Harmony woven legends spoken yes when harmony settlement or resolution peacemaking is woven legends are spoken embrace so embrace integrity we should learn we should embrace sorry we should embrace integrity we should learn diplomacy and we should be the exemplar. Reconcile as a verb, settle or to resolve a dispute. To settle again, to resolve, to reconcile a dispute. To, to solve, yes, solution. Recon, uh, resol uh, resolution may also mean solution. Nancy is good at coming up with a solution to a problem who is successful in resolving, settling a dispute, uh, Jasmine 
is successful in resolving a dispute. Now, example, example model four, a pattern or behavior to be imitated, ideal, model, exemplar, exemplary as an adjective. Arif's father is a good example for him. His words and behaviors have taught him what to do, how to do, and when to do things. His father also taught him how to ride a horse. Who is a good model for you? Why? Yes, my grandfather is a good model for me, is a good exemplar for me, is a good uh, model, yeah, or role model uh, for me because he was uh, while he was serious, for example, he was also uh, he was also witty. Yes, he was also uh, tell. He, he he was also able to tell uh, comic stories. Okay. My grandfather was a moderate role model for us because he was really wise and cherishing family member. Cherishing here, active means valuing, yes. Knowing the value of the family. Cherishing the family, yes. A cherishing family member, yes. So uh, he, uh, in return, he uh, he was also cherished by the other family members. He was also valued. Yes. Who was a role model of responsibility, dignity, respect, tact, and diplomacy for you? My uncle, uh, my uncle was a role model of responsibility, dignity, respect, tact, and diplomacy for me. You are more than just a grandfather to me. You are my role model in life. Happy birthday, grandpa. Okay. Same as an adjective means of sound mind, reasonable, judicious, prudent. The opposite is insane, uh, exhibiting unsoundness or disorder of mind. Frank is a sane person. Please do not doubt Frank's sanity. Please have no doubt about Frank's decision. What is Jack like? Does he always seem perfectly sane? Yes, we can say that uh, he always seem he always seems perfectly sane, perfectly reasonable, prudent. Okay, George Orwell said about being sane, uh, this, it is not easy to become sane. Yes, it requires a lot of positive thinking, positive behaviors, positive reading, positive listening, and uh, positive good qualities, positive strategies, positive tactics. Yes, it requires a lot of good things to be a good person to be a sane person. Unique as an adjective means sui generis, by itself or its own, of its own. Our learning style is sui generis. Our learning style is unique. It is different from all other learning styles. What about speaking style of each of us? Yes, again, it is also unique. Yeah, the speaking style of each of us is also unique, is different from the other individuals. Yes. Okay. Are you sure about it? Yeah. Do you have any evidence about it? Are you sure about it? Or can you confirm that? Can you watch for a witness for it? Can you act as a witness for it? Do you have full assurance? Do you guarantee that? Do you ensure that? Okay. 
Do you have no doubts or don't you have any doubts? Is that a definite decision? Yes. Are you sure about it? These are really practical and useful and we really need them in our everyday, everyday language. Are you sure, for example, are you sure if or whether if that food is healthy? Are you sure whether or not that food is healthy? That much is also very practical. We have never found that much information about almost all topics. Or in inversion structure, never before have we found that much information about almost all subjects. Motto says, never before have we had so little time in which to do so much. I can't prove it, but yes, I can't prove it, but I can say that he is, uh, he is uh, hardworking. Okay, I can't prove it, but I must say that they will come early. Yes, I can say that. Finally, I can say that we shouldn't neglect or we shouldn't ignore what we have to do. As a responsible car owner, what must you not neglect? Of course, as a responsible car owner, I must not neglect the maintenance of my car. No more neglecting. Motto. No more neglecting. No more in inversion structure, for example. No more can you neglect your education. No more can you neglect your job. No more can you neglect your children. No more can you neglect your future. In motivation, there is no forcing, no inflation. Yeah, this is also a motto. I think it is a motto-like sentence. In motivation, there is no forcing, no pressing, uh, no pressure, no inflation, no exaggeration, no inflation. In motivation, reality matters. That is, the language of truth is used. Yes, we should use the language of truth in motivation. Irrelevant compliments are also avoided while accusatory or accusing words are avoided. There is always encouragement and appreciation where in motivation. Okay, and the image says, and reality matters because it is the only thing that can satisfy us. Yes, it is really true. For example, uh, do you believe can or do we accept? Do we accept that false things uh, can satisfy us? Of course, no. No, they can't. Okay, chapter two, uh, the second uh, part of the story. Okay, Ihsan always saying, reasonable, logical, faced no doubts about his sound mind. Each person's speaking style, like our learning style, is sui generis, is unique, original. Are you sure about it? Equals when health is at stake, is at risk, is in danger of being lost. No more ignoring health. No more ignoring education. The unique language of truth in self-care prevails. Please generate a motto with respect to this paragraph. This is the motto of ChatGPT. Sane minds have distinct voices. Yes. Distinct and precious. Distinct and original voices. I hope we will have sane minds. Okay, all right. This is uh, all for today, and I hope uh, I hope we will see. Uh, we, I hope I will see you. I will uh, try to do something uh, for you and for me. 
in the next video. So bye for now. I wish you a good day.